can see from uh, looking, it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. It's not raining. Uh, we've had th over 31 inches of rain through March, the end of March in Seattle, which is the most I've ever recorded. Uh, and more rain and even snow coming up, but that's beside the point. Uh, we're going to, uh, I got a big pile. Now you can see some of them behind me here. Uh, I've been collecting, you know, they're various sizes. I got a couple big limbs I want to run through, but I wanted to do that dynamics test on the belts. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and fire it up and run it for maybe, you know, one pile uh, just to get it uh, warmed up, but also to, uh, you know, check on the belts and let them wear in a little bit. They say to check it after two hours of runtime. Well, these are brand new belts. Uh, so I'm going to give them some runtime. even though when I first got this, if you remember, I ran the, the uh, machine for at least two hours with no load, just varying the speed to break in the engine. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm cut this off right now, and I'm going to uh, gear up and then uh, fire it up and then uh, do some uh, chipping, and then we'll come back with the cover off to show you the belt dynamics because you see... stopped it and I took the cover off and uh, there's a lot of uh, rubber dust in here from these new belts and uh, yeah I'm surprised I took off the nut the the extra backup nut down here and just left the uh, the nylock here I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it because it doesn't have that protection anymore but it was just too uh, too tight and these belts you know I got pretty good gloves on you know, there's a lot of heat coming through the belts. So I don't know whether that belt cover needs more aeration or a fan or something, but it's trapping a lot of heat. And I'm noticing that the, the bearing, uh, shaft bearing on the engine is uh, weeping again too because I wiped it up with a cloth before I started. So, But yeah, this thing is a, a uh, chip-eating machine. But... Yeah, I'm surprised that those belts, uh, and they widened up the separation, remember where they were, I started them out even, they didn't, so let's um, zoom in here and we'll fire up so you can uh, see the, uh, the belts going, I'll, uh, I'll start up again once I get it going.
before I started it up again, I had tightened that nut up so that there was like about three threads sticking out. And look at it, it's already uh, backed out again, even with a nylock. I got to change over the nut that I have. Uh, I'm going to tighten it down and keep an eye on it. Uh, the belts are a little a little cooler without that cover on, so I think I might I might cut some holes in it just to give it some more air. Maybe uh, cut out down here and put in a screen like they have on the top. But uh, yeah, that's a real problem, and the factory needs to fix that. So I, I think I will probably go ahead and get a longer uh, eye bolt, and uh, so then I can at least. Uh, an inch longer that way I can uh, double nut it and lock tight it and Because <laughs> it when I, I was watching it while it was running uh, With nothing in it and this this spring here was just rotating back and forth and you could see this nut was was rotating around too So yeah, this uh, this bouncing Betty uh, needs to be fixed Well, I've finished my huge pile is now a big pile of chips. This thing is a beast. Uh, I am finding, I, I tightened it up before I started again and it's backed off again already. Uh, so the belts may be, I'm gonna tighten it up and put it, you know, clean up the machine and put it away. I won't be probably using this thing for a while, blow it out. And uh, I didn't even use a full tank of gas, but this belt is a lot, more limber than this one is or this one is more than this one so uh, they're not stretching equally so and they're about yeah they're about that far apart but I don't know how many times they've changed if this one's that much looser but there's still a lot of uh, a lot of belt dust and the weeping's not too bad on the seal here but uh, I don't have to use it for a while. I'm going to tighten this nut up again and uh, just leave it that way and knowing that I have to, uh, to change this thing. Uh, either that or let the belts wear in some more. Well, there, I got to get 10 pounds. They say 3 eighths at 10 pounds. I got to get some kind of thing to figure out 10 pounds. I may have to tighten, you know, these, these things stretch. I may have to tighten this up to put that uh, security nut back on again. But yeah, that, uh, I'm really amazed at the, how much this thing vibrates around. Uh, those two little nuts from the factory would not have stand a chance in hell of staying on. So if you got problems with yours chipping, bogging down, doesn't seem like it once. It takes, you know, hit something and it takes forever to get up to speed. You, you've, your belts are dead and this thing is loose probably. So, so much for that. I just wanted to leave you with a note. I brought it in to uh, blow it out and clean it down and I took off the, the nylock shoulder bolt there. Uh, it was just wore out the, the nylon part. Uh, so I put on the one that came from the factory and then I put my jam nut back on the end and it seems to have about the right amount of tension. So, And then I took a chisel and <laughs> put a little more uh, uh, anti-release on that jam nut. So it, it ain't going to come off. Later, I guess the best way to end a chipping story is to show the uh, where the piles had been. You know, there was like one, two, three, four, five piles in that area. Now they're all in a big pile of chips, and that's a pitchfork to give you an idea of how much I chipped up. So. Like I said, that thing's a monster. <laughs>